Okay, in this video we're going to do a standard monopoly profit maximization problem. A monopoly faces an inverse market demand of price equals 100 minus 0.375Q. And its total cost of production is given by C equals 1200 plus 0.125Q squared. So we want to solve for the monopolist profit maximizing price, quantity, and level of profit. So we're going to set up a profit function. Pi represents profit. Profit is total revenue minus total cost, where total revenue is the price times the quantity. So moving on to the next step, what is price? Price is 100 minus 0.375Q. So that's price is in parentheses right here. And then we have this being all multiplied through by Q. And then total cost, so we're going to subtract out the fixed cost of $1,200, and then we need to subtract out the variable costs as well of 0.125Q squared. All right, uh, simplifying. I'm just going to take this Q and multiply uh, through by what's in parentheses to leave us this step. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add these Q squared terms. I'm going to add these two terms over here. And we have profit equals 100Q minus 0.5Q squared minus 1,200. Rewriting that last step. And now we're going to maximize this equation. So we're going to take the derivative of the profit function with respect to quantity. So the derivative of 100Q is 100. The derivative of minus 0.5Q squared is just minus Q. I bring this 2 down in front, so 2 times 0.5 is just 1. I've got the minus in front here, so it's just minus 1. And then the exponent here, 2 minus 1 on the exponent, just leaves Q raised to the power of 1, or just write it as Q. Since we're maximizing, we set this equal to 0. So we're going to solve this for Q by adding Q to both sides, and Q equals 100. So that is a profit maximizing output. To get the profit maximizing price, we're going to take this Q of 100 and plug it into the inverse market demand. The inverse market demand given on the last slide was this. Where we have the Q, we will now plug in 100. So uh, the profit maximizing price here is $62.50. And now to get the level of profit, rewriting our profit equation and just plugging in for Q, we're going to plug in 100. And simplifying this, this monopolist has a positive profit of $3,800. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.